everyone, today's video is really exciting because I am actually doing a 2018 Makeup Use It Up Goals. Now, if you watched my Makeup 2017 Use It Up Goals, I just posted that video a couple of days ago. And I kind of went through every, the like number of products I used up from August to December because I only started that in August. So that was five months, which was obviously not even half a year. And I used those numbers in order to determine my makeup use up for 2018 numbers. Now, I do want to say before I even start with numbers, I count everything as a single product. So these little, like, perfume samples, that's a perfume. Even to the point, like, this sample card has two different types of foundation. I count each of these. And I do that because when I do my inventory, I count each of these. And my makeup... Uh, inventory like my spreadsheet. Sorry, I have a canvas. I don't know if you can see him. There he is. He wants to play. Um, on my makeup inventory spreadsheet, I have each of those items listed. So it just makes sense to me that I use count them all in my makeup use up. Now, to some people, that might seem a little ridiculous, but that's just what I do. Now, what I did was I took the number of items I used up last year and multiplied it times three. I did that because I was like, well, it's not even half a year, which means I should use up at least twice as much. And I wanted to do three because I was like, well, I want to use up more every single year. Because even though, it, like, you know, I would love to be able to say, hey, everything that I have in my collection that last year, I didn't have, uh, right now, is new and I didn't have it last year. But we all know that's not the case. Some of these items are just sitting there getting older and older and older. So I want to make sure that I'm using up more and more every year. Does that make sense? I think it does. I'm really sorry if this is distracting y'all, but he has this little gator. Uh, we got this for Christmas. Ooh, you see, he just wants to play. He wants to play. Um, oh, so, oh, Kanga did not want to play. So, that will be reflected in all of these. So, let's just get into it. For face primer, I wanted to, I want to use up three. So, last year I used up one. I want to use up three face primers. That seems really doable. I'm I'm currently panning three anyway, so I think I can do that. For foundation slash BB cream, I decided to lump that together because you pretty much use it in the same way. I want to use up 24. Now again, do remember this, if I used up this sample card, that would be two. So, you know, that seems really ridiculous and like way too many, but that's why. And again, I used up eight within August to... December. So that's why when I did it last year, I had never done something like this. So I was like, I really don't know what's a fair goal and what's not. But since I used those numbers, I feel like all of these should be should be realistic. For concealers, I want to use up two. And you might be like, uh, Becky, two does not divisible by three. So what I did is if my number was zero. So if I was like, okay, I didn't use up any concealers between August and December. I decided that this year my goal would be two. Because I feel like I should be able to use up two, at least, of anything in one year. One year is a long time. I have a lot of makeup. I have more than two of every single makeup project you can imagine. So I should be able to use up at least two in every single year. So that's my goal for concealer. For powder, I want to use up three. And I just want to go ahead and clarify, powder foundations like the Bare Minerals uh, foundation, I just count that as a powder. That's just what I do. Um, for blush, I want to use up two, and that will be powder or cream blushes. Because, again, in my inventory, I don't decipher between those. And I don't because I feel like if you do too many subsections, if you're like, oh, I have four cream blushes, three liquid brushes, eight powder blushes, and then 12 blushes that are in a palette, it kind of disillusions you that you have less than you actually have, if that makes sense. So, that's how I do it in my inventory. I keep mentioning my inventory, so I'll... Link my most recent one, which was like midway in 2017. I will be doing one within the next couple weeks. It takes a long time because I count every single item. So it takes a long time to do a makeup inventory, but I'll be posting one in January. All right. So uh, blush is two, like I said. Bronzer will be three. Highlighter will be three. Eye primers, so not liquid shadows. Like we're talking like... Um, Elf Eyelid Primer, uh, Primer Potion, Laura Behind the Seams, things like that. Things like that, I want to use up three. For cream eyeshadows, so things that are actually like pigmented, 
with a color. Um, this did nothing. This is the NARS uh, Velvet Shadow Stick. So cream eyeshadows, eyeshadow pencils like that, I want to use up two. For pigment slash glitter, so the Sila glitter in glows, that counts here. Any pigment I have, I want to use up two of those. For eyeshadows, so this doesn't, this is just eyeshadows in general. I want to use up nine. So I could use up one in this palette and three in this palette and five in this palette. That's my nine. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be in one single palette. It can be singles, duos, whatever. I just want to use up nine, which seems super realistic. And I'm really hoping of all of them, I'm going to go over on that one. For gel slash liquid eyeliners, I want to use up three. For mascaras, I want to use up nine. I have a ton of mascaras. I've done a lot better with having less open. I used to have like 12 open at one time, which is just ridiculous. So right now I have three open, I believe. Yeah, I have three open, so I'm doing a lot better. But mascaras is like always something you get. I don't think I'm ever going to buy mascara again in my life. I probably like, let me just show you. This is my mascara drawer. So these are all of the ones that are not open. These are the ones that are open. It's that in the chart and then the one in my monthly makeup bag as well. So, I want to use up nine within the year. For eyeliner, so pencil eyeliners, I want to use up three. For my eyebrow products, I want to use up 15. And again, that sounds really ridiculous. One of the reasons why that's so much higher than you would expect is because of this little sampler dude. This three. Now, this is four, excuse me. You see, one, two, three, four. And I panned one of those. Now, I do want to go ahead and say, right now, currently, I'm using an eyeshadow in my eyebrows. This would count as an eyeshadow, not as an eyebrow product. So that might actually lessen the number of eyebrow products I'm able to use up, but we'll just see what happens. All right. For lip treatment, so like a lip balm, really, is what I mean, um, I want to use up three of those. For lip liners, I also want to use up three. For lip products, so a colored lip product, and I didn't want to specify between gloss and lipstick because it's like, um, well, is that a liquid lipstick? Is that a gloss? Is that a really pigmented gloss? Is that a really sheer lipstick? Like, what do you count as what? So just lip products in general, I want to use up nine, and that is one thing that I have a hard time with, so I'm really hoping I can make that goal. Next, we have nail polish. This does not seem realistic, but again, between August and in December I used up seven so I want to use up 21 lip products I excuse me excuse me 21 nail polishes I don't, I don't know about them but that's the goal so we'll just see what happens for setting sprays I want to use up three for fragrances I want to use up 30 and again these little guys do count as one so you know that's, that's a lofty goal but when you think about it like that it's less uh, intimidating. Now we are going to have, so my makeup collection numbers. So like I said, I do currently have a makeup inventory. I actually should have done this before, but I forgot, so we're just going to do it. So my makeup spreadsheet has every single makeup item I own itemized. And currently there are 1,197 items. By the end of next, of this year, I would like to have 1,746. 1,197. There we go. And I want to have that. I chose that number because that was the lowest that I had at last year. So at one point last year, I had 1,746. And now I have 1,997. So I'm going to have to use up almost so 249 products. No, 251 products to make that goal. And we'll just see what happens with that. For the total number of beauty empties as far as a dollar amount, again, I took my last year number and multiplied it times three, so it's a little bit of an odd number, but we're going to go with it. I want to use up in beauty empties 200, no, sorry, $2,784.51. Last year, I did do a tally for the whole year. That was the only like number I had for the whole year, and I used up about $2,200 worth of product. So this would be $500 more, and we're going to just see what happens. I'm confident in that. 
for the amount spent. This is a new item on my list. Um, instead of updating y'all in my empties video, I decided to do it in here. Now, last year I wanted to spend, or to spend as much as I used up. So those two numbers be equal. And if we're going to be honest, I didn't hit that goal. I was doing really well, and then I had to go to Canada for three weeks in October, and I just kind of went like, bleh, and like spent way, way, way too much money. Um, and I lost track of it. So I did well for 10 out of the 12 months. So yeah. This year, we're going to go hardcore. Um, I want to use up, I want to spend half the amount I use up, and I'm going to be really strict on that. I'm going to update, so I'm currently on like a no buy, that's what I called it, but if we're being honest, it's really more of a low buy. I'm going to update you on that soon, kind of talk about the rules, because I've, I've kind of really thought about it more in my head and I want to talk about that, but I want to use up half of what I spend. That's the opposite. I want to spend half of what I use up, and that will really help me, um, you know, because it's just, I have a lot of makeup. And a lot of beauty items and I feel like that's realistic to use up that much and I don't really be spending so much because I have so much like I could use up like 25 glosses and probably not even miss them um so yeah and then for my number of makeup empties so or my amount of makeup empties so again before was beauty empties so skincare hair care makeup all of it for makeup empties which are everything that's on that list so all my makeup and fragrances and nail polishes, makeup specifically, I want to use up $946.65 worth of makeup. So almost $1,000. That sounds really scary and really hard, but let's just see what happens. So that is my makeup use up goals for 2018. Let me know if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, comments. Like I said, I'll link my inventory and, you know, my last or my 2017 finale and just some videos I think you might like um, down below. And if you want to talk, please do. I love talking. It's one of my favorite things. And I love making videos you want to see. So let me know what your thoughts are with that. And yeah, I'll just see y'all real soon. Bye.